Hello, welcome to this video. This is lesson 2.4 or 2-4 for Accelerated Math 3. Um, and we're talking about rational expressions and our objective of this lesson is to create a rational function from two different rational expressions. This video will incorporate a lot of review, especially from lessons 2.2 and 2.3, which is uh, adding and subtracting rational expressions as well as multiplying and dividing rational expressions. If you got those two lessons, this lesson should be fairly simple for you. The only new thing is just adding in the, the notation. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and look at this idea. Um, this says one way to create functions is to combine two or more functions using a basic operation. And again, like I said here, the only new thing um, that really is, is new is this notation here. So this says f plus g of x, right? And all this is, is you're adding f of x and g of x. Simple enough. How about this one? f minus g of x. And that's how you read that, f minus g of x, right? Just like a regular function. Okay, and you subtract the functions. All right, how about f times g of x? Well, what do you think you do with f of x and g of x? You time it, okay? And then here, f divided by g of x. Well, we're going to divide them. Simple enough. Um, I'm going to split this into two separate videos. So I'm just going to start with the, the first two, which is addition and subtraction. Okay. So here's our, our first example. Please write this in your notes. And it says, given the functions f of x and g of x, create the following function. And they want f minus g of x. Okay. So you're trying to trick me with, with this notation. Um, it's not going to work, right? Okay, it might work for Joe. Joe who? Okay, so we have f of x minus g of x. Okay, so that's all they want you to do, create your new function. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm going to substitute. So here's f of x. Okay, I'm just gonna to plug this in. So this is x plus two over x and minus g of x. Okay, well, g of x is given here. So I just substitute it in, 4x minus 1 over x minus 1. Okay, now we just have a, a regular subtracting rational expressions. You're going to have to find your LCD, which uh, clearly our LCD here is x and x minus 1. So we'll just introduce those facts, or those factors. So x minus 1 multiplied by x minus 1. Over here, I'm going to multiply by x, multiply by x, okay? Uh, that's kind of the, the shortcut way. And what I get, x squared, uh, negative 1, or sorry, x times positive 2 is positive 2x, negative 1 times x is a negative x, so all we have left over is a positive x. Okay, over our LCD, um, minus... I'll put this in parentheses, x times 4x minus 1. Okay, all over x times x minus 1. I could have distributed that. Um, so we have x squared plus x minus 2. Um, here we have minus 4x squared minus x. over x times x minus 1. Okay, and we're just going to change the signs on this. On our second terms, right, this is going to become negative. This will become positive. So we have negative 3x squared when combined with our x squareds. Over here, we get plus 2x and a minus 2 all over our term, x times x minus 1. Okay, and that's it. Here's our here's our new function. Okay, um, there. Now, actually, I'm gonna adjust this. So they wanna they want a new function. Generally, when they want something in a function, write it in function form. So I have um, this is f minus g of x is equal to negative three x squared plus two x minus two all over x times x minus 1. So here's a function. 
Okay, there, that would be your answer that you would box. Make sure you rewrite that notation. Okay, um, here is example two. Okay, and they want f plus g of x. Well, okay, what do you think they're going to want us to do in this example? Add them, that's right. Okay, so I have my two functions. We'll substitute x plus 4 um, plus x squared minus 4 plus x minus 2 over x plus 2. We can simplify, or not simplify, we'll factor this, x minus 2, x plus 2. If you see that right away and you want to do that, feel free to, to jump right away into the factoring. It will save you a line. Okay, here we go. And I need to find a common denominator, right, in order to, to add these. So my LCD, right, is going to be x minus 2, x plus 2. And I'm just missing on this factor, x minus 2. Okay, so computer's acting up. Okay, so what we get is x plus 4 plus, and then over here this is going to give us x squared minus 4x plus 4, all over our denominator. Okay, and then here is our final answer. So we have x squared uh, minus 3x plus 8 over x minus 2 plus 2. Okay, and then again this is f plus g of x. There's your function. Okay. Um, maybe you're wondering where the heck are the excluded values? Why don't they ask about excluded values? There are still excluded values here, it's just the, the problem is not asking for them. Okay, I don't have to state my excluded values. If it wants it, we'll give it. Um, it's not asking about any of the discontinuities, right? So, there it is. We have done our objective creating rational functions using operations. That was addition and subtraction. I'm going to post the practice problem right here. Okay, so this is for you in your notes. If you have room, if not, do it on a whiteboard. Um, please pause the video right now, and then I'm going to click to the next slide so you can see the answer. Okay, pause it. All right, hopefully you pause the video, and here are the solutions. Okay. And you have two different ways. Um, just note too in the denominator here, this this is in factored form here. They, they put it in standard form. Uh, either way is okay. Again, like I said, I, I kind of like kind of like this method here uh, because you can see the discontinuities or the asymptotes fairly easily, right? That'll be important for, for next year in calculus. Okay, um, that's the end of this video. I'm going to to uh, do another video, a second video that will focus specifically on the multiplication and division. All right, catch you next time.